What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to scrape tweets from Twitter, or X if you want to be cool about it, in less than five minutes. Seriously, no joke. You won't need any fancy coding skills, just a couple of tools and a few clicks, and you'll have data from X right in your Google Sheets. Ready to rock? Now, I know scraping data might sound a little bit techy, but trust me, it's easier than you think. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to set up your own scraper using Appify and Make.com and have all your data organized in no time. Plus, I've got some tips and tricks to make it even easier. But first, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any of the cool tools and automations I'm sharing every week. And for those of you who want even more hacks and templates, check out the school community linked below. Inside, you'll find exclusive make.com templates, including the one that we're using today, that you can import directly and start using immediately. It's super easy. Just grab one of these templates, click on the three dots in make.com to import the blueprint, select the file, and hit save. All right, let's jump into it. First things first, let's get you set up on Appify. So Appify is this awesome platform that lets you scrape data from all kinds of websites. Think of it like a magic tool for pulling information off the web, like tweets, without any coding. The best part, when you sign up, you get $5 worth of free credits. No need to pull out your wallet just yet. All you need to do is head over to appify.com, create an account, and verify your email. Once that's done, you're good to go. Now that you're in, let's find the right scraper to use. You're going to love how easy this is. In the Appify store, there's a handy search bar. Just type Twitter Scraper and you'll see a list of options. The one you want is called Twitter Scraper by Quaker. It's simple, effective, and it gets the job done without a hassle. Click on it and you'll see a page with a bunch of settings, but don't worry, I'll walk you through it. So what you need to do is add the Twitter handles that you want to scrape. And here's a quick tip. Leave out the at symbol when entering handles. For example, if you want to scrape tweets from Elon Musk, you would just type Elon Musk in the field. You can start with some big names like Musk or Taylor Swift to get the hang of it. Then choose how many tweets you want to scrape. I'm going to keep it simple and choose five tweets for now, just to test it out. Once you've done that, click start and save. Now here's where the magic happens. Appify is going to start running and you'll see a log pop-up that shows everything happening behind the scenes. Sit back, grab a coffee, and let it work. Once it's done, you'll have a bunch of data sitting right there, ready for you to check out. You'll see the full text of each tweet, the number of replies, retweets, favorites, the tweet URL, and the timestamp. All of this info is going to be pulled directly by the profile that you selected. It's that easy. Once you've got this set up, the beauty of this process is that you don't have to keep clicking around. Appify handles all the work of scraping the data for you, and then you can use make.com to automate the rest. All you have to do is focus on what you're going to do with all this juicy data. And hey, if you're like me and love automation, this is going to be a game changer for your workflow. All right, now that we've got our scraper set up, let's get that data organized. Trust me, this step is key. If you don't organize your data, it's like throwing your laundry in a pile instead of folding it. It just makes everything harder to find later, right? First thing, open Google Sheets and create a brand new spreadsheet. This is going to be where all of your Twitter data lives. And for simplicity's sake, name it Twitter or X. That way, when you open it up later, you know exactly what you're looking at. No guesswork, simple and clean. Once that's done, let's get the first sheet ready. You're going to be keeping a list of all the Twitter handles that you want to scrape. So go ahead and click into the first sheet and name the first column profiles. This is where you'll add the Twitter handles that you want to scrape data from. For example, you could add handles like Elon Musk, Taylor Swift 13, or any other account that you're interested in. Remember, you don't need to add the app symbol, just the username like Elon Musk. Now go ahead and add another sheet by clicking the plus at the bottom of the left page. Name this second sheet data. Why? Because this is where we'll store all the juicy Twitter data that we'll be pulling in. This sheet is going to be a bit more crowded, so we'll need to add several columns to keep everything organized. In the data sheet, 
add these column headers. Twitter handles, tweet text, replies, retweets, favorites, tweet URL, and finally, timestamp. These columns are going to store the key data from each tweet, basically all the important stuff that you need to track. All right, let me break it down for you a little bit. The first column, Twitter handles, is where we're going to link each Twitter handle from the first sheet to the actual data. The tweet text column is where we'll store the full text of the tweet. Yep, every single word. Replies is where we'll keep track of how many replies each tweet has. Retweets will show how many times that that tweet has been uh, retweeted. Favorites, which Twitter calls likes now, will tell us how many people liked the tweet. Tweet URL will store the direct link to the tweet itself. And finally, timestamp will give us the exact date and time when that tweet was posted. All right, now let's bring in make.com, which is where we'll really start to connect everything together and automate this whole process. If you've never used make.com before, don't worry, it's super simple. First thing, log into your make.com account. Once you're in, go ahead and click on the button that says create a new scenario. This is where the magic happens. You're about to automate all those manual steps we've been doing, and it's going to save you so much time. The first thing we need to do is add a Google Sheets module to this scenario. Think of modules like the building blocks, each that do something specific. To add Google Sheets, click on the big plus button. This is your gateway to adding modules. When you click it, a search bar will pop up. Type in Google Sheets, and when it shows up, click on it. Then select the option that says, watch new rows. This is the trigger that's going to keep an eye on your Google Sheet and let us know when there's a new Twitter handle in the list that we created earlier. Now, you'll need to connect your Google Sheets account to make.com. If you haven't done this already before, you'll see an option that says, add connection. Click that and make.com will ask you to log into your Google account. Go ahead and sign in. And once you're in, make sure to give make.com permission to access your Google Sheets. It's just a safety measure, so nothing shady happens. Once you're connected, select the Google Sheets file we're working with. Remember, that's the one called Twitter. After that, make sure to pick Sheet 1. That's the sheet we listed our Twitter handles. First, make sure the limit is set to 1. This means that make.com will only watch for one new row at a time and we wanna keep it that way so things don't get too crazy. Next, make sure to enable the table contains headers option. This is just a little detail, but it's important because it tells make.com where the headers are in your sheet, so it knows how to organize everything properly. Once that's all set, click OK to save your progress. All right, let's dive deeper into setting up Appify in make.com and breaking everything down step-by-step step so you can scrape Twitter data like a pro. First things first, we need to add the Appify module into your make.com scenario. So click on the big plus sign again, yes, that one, and then search for Appify in the module search bar. When you see the run actor module pop up, go ahead and select it. This is the module that will actually trigger the Twitter scraper on Appify. Now it's time to connect your Appify account. So you'll see a button that says add, click it. This will prompt you to enter your Appify API token. If you don't know where to find it, no worries, I got you. Just head over to your Appify account, go to the settings section, and under API integrations, you'll find your API token. Copy it and paste it into the connection window in make.com. Once that's done, click save, and boom, your Appify account is connected. Now, let's get to the fun part. This is where we tell Appify exactly what we want to scrape. Head over to the Twitter scraper by Quaker on Appify's Marketplace. When you're on the page, look for the JSON button. Click it. This will show you a sample JSON input that's needed to configure the scraper. Copy that JSON code and then paste it into the input JSON field in the Appify run actor module inside make.com. Here's the important part. This is where we replace the placeholder data with the real data we want to scrape. For example, in the JSON code, there will be a placeholder Twitter handle like Appify or some other default account. You don't want that, trust me. Instead, we need to map the actual Twitter handles from your Google Sheets. 
So go back to the watch rows module, remember that one we set up earlier, and map the Twitter handles field to replace the placeholder. This will allow make.com to pull the Twitter handles directly from your Google Sheets and run the scraper for each one. Also, while you're at it, decide how many tweets you want to scrape. For now, let's keep it simple and set it to scrape five tweets per handle. You can always adjust that later if you need more or fewer tweets. All right, we've got the basics down. Now let's keep things moving. Next, we need to make sure Appify runs synchronously. This is a big deal because it ensures that the workflow doesn't move on to the next step until the scraping is finished. So in the Appify module, make sure you select Run Synchronously. This way, make.com will wait for the scraper to complete before moving on to the next step. Think of it like waiting for your coffee to brew before you drink it. You gotta let it finish first. All right, now that we've scraped data from Twitter using Appify, it's time to grab that data and send it over to Google Sheets. Let's walk through the process of retrieving the scraped data step by step. And I'll show you how to set up everything in make.com. First up, we're going to add the Get Data Set Items module from Appify. This is the module that lets you pull the data you just scraped. So click the plus icon in your make.com scenario to add a new module and then search for Appify. You'll see the Get Data Set Items option. Go ahead and select that. Next, you need to connect your Appify account again, but don't worry, you've already done this earlier when we set up the Run Actor module, that is, so it'll be super easy. Just choose the same connection you used before. Now, here's the important part. We need to map the default dataset ID from the previous module. This is the link between your scraper and the data it pulled, so make.com knows where to grab the information from. Once you've selected the default dataset ID, we're going to configure the output format. You'll want to set this to JSON. Why? Because JSON is a structured format, which means the data will come in a neat little package that's easy for Google Sheets to process. Think of it like getting a neatly organized folder with all of your data inside instead of a giant messy pile of papers. Trust me, it makes a huge difference. Now that we've configured the output format, it's time to test the module. This step is super important because it ensures that everything is working as it should. When you hit the Run Once button, make.com will go ahead and grab the data set from Appify. This will let you see if the scraper pulled the right data and formatted it correctly. If everything looks good, you'll see the structured data right in front of you. All right, now let's get that data flowing into Google Sheets. Here's how you do it step-by-step, step, nice and easy. First, we're going to add the Google Sheets Add a Row module in make.com. So you know the drill. Click the big plus icon to add a new module. In the search bar, type Google Sheets and select the Add a Row action. This action will let us add the scraped Twitter data to our Google Sheet. Now let's configure the module. For the spreadsheet, you're going to want to select the one you named Twitter earlier. If it's not showing up in the list, don't panic. You can search for it by path. Just type Twitter in the search bar and make.com will find it for you. Under sheet name, select data. This is where all the scraped data will go. And here's an important detail. Make sure you enable table contains headers. This setting ensures that make.com knows where to place the data in the right columns. Without it, we'd be in a bit of a mess, trust me. Once you've set all of that up, it's time to map the data. So in the next step, we're going to take all the data we scraped from Appify and match it up with the right columns in our Google Sheet. For the profile column, select the Twitter handle you pulled from the Watch Rose module. This will make sure the correct Twitter handle shows up in that column. For the second column, map the full text field for the tweet content. Next, map the corresponding fields for retweets, likes, timestamp, and replies. This will ensure everything is mapped correctly. After you've done all the mapping, it's time to give it a test. Click Run Once to test everything and see if the data shows up in the right columns. Check your Google Sheet. Make sure the data looks right and that everything is in the right place. If something's off, no worries. Just go back and adjust the mappings until it's perfect. And that's it. You've just automated scraping Twitter data into your Google Sheets. Look at you time-saving like a pro. 
This is how we get things done quickly and efficiently with Make.com and Appify. So get ready to use this system for any Twitter data scraping project you have in the future. It's simple, it's powerful, and now you've got it all set up. If you run into any issues or need more help, leave a comment below, I'm happy to assist. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more easy to follow automation tips. And if you're serious about taking your automation game to the next level, check out our school community. It's linked below. Inside you'll find exclusive templates, resources, and a supportive group of like-minded people ready to help you succeed. Plus the exact template that we use today is in there, so don't miss it. Oh. And before you click away, here is another video that you'll probably want to watch next. It's packed with even more tips and tricks to help you crush it with automation. I will see you there.